Antelope Canyon draws three million tourists a year. A handful of Navajo families have the rights to different portions of the wash system in northern Arizona, which eventually empties into Lake Powell. The most recent portion of Antelope Canyon to open to the public is known as Cardiac Canyon. Logan Sinogeny grew up on the land with the canyon as his backyard. It took a, a long time to realize the beauty of the canyon, the beauty of where this is everyday life for us. Growing up here was just awesome. As a child, he knew his family had a painful history between these sandstone walls. Long before there was a city of Page, and before the Glen Canyon Dam created Lake Powell, the Sinigini's ancestors lived on this northwestern corner of the Navajo Nation. In the 1800s, the families were forced off their land during a shameful chapter of American history. During the Long Walk, thousands of Navajo families were forced marched to camps in New Mexico. Between the uprooting and forced assimilation at Indian boarding schools, the Navajo culture was nearly lost. The, the Manifest Destiny and the boarding school movement almost erased our people. A lot of our history was oral until that time. And so now we've got to get this known so that we aren't forgotten and that the real history comes out. During the long walk, Logan Sinogeny's great-great-grandfather became an underground hero, helping people avoid capture by hiding them in parts of Antelope Canyon. After the Navajo families were allowed to return to this area, they really didn't speak of the horrors they'd endured. Our family originally was very reserved in sharing our story and our history with the outside world. We had always kept these canyons sort of secret and to ourselves because we knew the importance of what happened here. Time has changed and evolved that we, we would like to get our story out. We would like to share it with everyone so that they know what really happened. As part of the movement to share more of their history, the Sinogenies opened a stretch of the canyon they call Cardiac Canyon, which happened to have a rare blanket of snow on our visit. Everyone that comes, they feel a little closer to native people and to the land. You get two tour guides. One tour guide is well-versed in culture and history, and the other one is a little younger to help you get through the canyon and get your stuff out. The guides will point out the hiding spots people used to escape capture, the natural bowl in the wall used to gather water, and the end of the canyon where sadly some were trapped. When visitors leave from Cardiac and Antelope Canyon, I hope they take history, a part of history with them because our, our story, our locations, our remnants are all real. You can come and you can see almost the real life museum of how we lived. The tragic history that we have, it, it, we were taught that we um, shouldn't bring it up. We do know now that if things are lost, history tends to repeat itself, and that's, that's what we don't want. While you'll find crowds at other parts of Antelope Canyon, Cardiac is a different kind of experience. Only six people per day enter. I don't hear one sound. There's nothing around us that there's no plane, no people, no cars. Our main goal with Cardiac Canyon and the tours that are brought here is that our visitors have a deep connection with Mother Earth. The Cardiac Canyon tour specifically gives you six to eight hours in the canyon to just be with Mother Earth. And then when they leave, they're happy, they thank us. And this is one of the things that we can also share with, the, share with them the significance of the canyon in our history and our culture. Uh -huh.